let's quickly move on uh, to BTS Chin. I love you. Musically, uh, lyrically, <laughs> there, there, there was only one uh, uh, phrase in the whole whole song. Uh, lyrically, uh, it was very repetitive for me. Um, there were no um, ups and downs. It was just uh, a repetition of "I love you, I love you." Um, yeah, I didn't really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if this is a an, an actual release or what or what it is. It could be one of those covers, but uh, mm, definitely not. Uh, uh, definitely not my cup of tea. This is uh, okay. It, it was a cover, okay. Old old cover. I understand. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure <coughs> um, the uh vocally he's he's improved from this as well because uh um i didn't enjoy his uh his vocals as well um yeah i didn't really like any aspect of the song um even the mixing was terrible uh the sound quality uh the piano was way too far in the back uh it wasn't clear at all um You know, they could have done more with the vocals as well uh, in the mixing. Uh, I don't know. I, I think uh, it was many aspects of the song was forced. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't know why the quality drops so much when they do these. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it an 82. 
um, and I would probably never listen to that song again. Uh, even though I love the guy, <laughs> I absolutely love the guy. <laughs> um, you know, when I make my tweets now about uh, the the uh, announcing the live stream, I I tend to put uh, a lot of uh, pictures of Jin because. Um, I love the guy. <laughs> uh, Kaori Chates uh, actually asked a very important question. In the past year, what has made me change my point of view uh, about BTS? And um, I can honestly say, um, getting to know these uh, this group as humans, uh, as individuals rather than a group, and as humans, really sinks your roots into uh, your your interest in this group um, because you know them as people and then you value them as people uh, rather than uh, just a random musician. And uh, that goes a long way because um, your attachment, your... Because uh, you look at them as humans rather than an actual celebrity and and that's where i'm sure all of you um really really just like lost it with this group uh after you found out uh the various aspects about this uh this group and in and it's apparent even in the uh comment section in in carpool karaoke you know a lot of people didn't know anything about the group and they watched it for the first time and then they fell in love be, with their personalities, uh, because if you're if you have a stereotype against K-pop, you know it, you're you're thinking okay, manufactured uh, factory idols, um, robotic personalities, nothing, you know they hide their their uh, you know their deficiencies and their weaknesses, and they try to say the right things only. That's what you would expect, or or them to be shy. You know, a lot of Asian Asians are really shy and quiet. But then you see these crazy boys uh, saying "Joker guy" and "Joku guy" and uh, Post Malone smokes too many cigarettes. I still can't believe they said that on TV. <laughs> um, you know, those those parts really really bring out the uh, human aspect. Uh, that's really missing in, in, in today's music because everyone wants to be tough and rich and, you know, uh, wanted by ladies and, you know, they always, they're obsessed with creating uh, a perfect image or a cool image and these guys just are, are the exact opposite of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, just learning about the human aspect, really, really, um, especially Jin, you know, like, uh, when I first saw those, uh, videos, like, RM being done with BTS, you would see Jin being so loud and he couldn't speak English properly and then he would cut in and say something really, uh, crazy. It was hard for me to see this uh, in the beginning, but now it's like, I love it. I love him. <laughs> and just seeing how nurturing <clears throat> he is, you know, those little things you learn and it builds up. Your knowledge about that person builds up and then you can really uh, uh, form in your mind what kind of person he is. And then... Uh, that definitely uh, goes a long way. I wonder if there are BTS fans out there who know nothing about their crackheaded side. Like, there must be like armies somewhere like that don't watch YouTube and know nothing about their personalities, but st are still fans. Don't you think there would be some <laughs> fans like that? There must be like maybe one percent of the fandom. Maybe they don't have a. Uh, a mobile phone and they're still using a, a flip phone but they have but they buy their CDs you know there, there probably are 
fans out there who really don't even know um, they're like this. <laughs> and for the non-fans who, who watched them for the first time on car Carpool Karaoke, they were all positive, you know. They loved them. They, they said they're not fans, but... Uh, you know, they're, they're lovely people. I love them. Um, they have good energy and they're very talented. And all of that was on show. Um, and that's why it's so important to, to get on those t uh, TV shows and, and, and showcase what they really are about. And I think more than any appearance, that carpool karaoke was a very, very good uh, positive step for them because it really showed them who, who they are and why, why people love them. Yeah. Uh, so yes, that's my answer, Cody. Um. <laughs> uh, there is one other thing I wanted to say. You know, I thought about it, and I think people who listen to K-pop and and people who listen to BTS. Um, both are very progressive people, very open-minded and, and progressive, you know, it, it's, it's very forward and, and you got to hand it to yourselves that you, you're, you know, learning and, and, and supporting and, and a group that, uh, speaks very little English, sings only in Korean. That's not an easy thing to do, but for you guys to immerse yourself and learn so much about them, uh, that says a lot about you guys as, as, as people as well. You guys are very uh, progressive people, you know, uh, because it's unheard of. And I uh, just want you guys to uh, pat yourselves on the back because uh, you, guys are, you guys are the future. <laughs> you guys... You know, 10 years from now, I can say, eh, I followed them from the beginning. You know, you know I, I, I listened to K-pop way before it became uh, standard. So, um, yeah, you should be proud of that because uh, not many people, people are open or, or willing to accept, um, and, but you guys opened your hearts and your minds. Um, yeah. Good job, guys. All right.